Hello everybody and welcome to another episode in Campaign as we proceed into the forests of the Lumberyard. I don't know exactly when this round started, but uh, I just got back from, well, certain places. And the strategy to this map is basically camp in the tents. Don't, like, don't be in the tents, but be in this general area. It provides cover, you can lose enemies if they're pursuing you, you can heal, and you can use the tents as cover. Nonetheless, it's also a great vantage point for sniping. Elevation is not your friend when you're a sniper. In fact, if you are on the ground as a sniper, that is the best spot you could ever be. Now, there is a hacker in this, in the server, is Doge Lord. Which is sad because if you're a, la a hacker, you're usually doing it for KD ratio. This guy's trying to make you rage. So, to handle, number one tip, to handle hackers. Don't rage. They're looking for it. If you don't give them what they want, odds are they'll get bored and quit. But if there's one guy who's raging in the server, he'll stay as long as he wants until that guy leaves. But to combat hackers, because, well, it's totally, they're just like a boss. They've got one strength, and, well, his is jumping in intense height. Regardless, when they're jumping or flying, they're really easy targets. Gah, it's just my accuracy and patience is horrible. But yeah, he's using a juggernaut perk, which I figured out the hard way. Not by just shooting him and seeing how many bullets a sniper takes. But yeah, he's a juggernaut, so odds are you're not going to get a headshot on him. But he's going to be flying around, and there's no fall damage in this game, which is a sad part. Ugh. Anyway, you get a couple hits on him, it'll wear on him eventually. And look at his KD. He's not that skilled. He's a simple little hacker. Oh, I got him. There we go. See? Not too complicated. But simple as this. Stay in tents. And if, if you want, you can simply just spawn kill a hacker too. That gets them usually riled about it. Now, there's a difference between exploiting and uh, hacking. Hacking is something where you use, where you're actually messing with the scripts and setting yourself to that. When you're glitching, you're using something that's designated in the game that isn't fixed. So, glitches such as like, well, I'm not going to show you guys it because, well, people will just love it. But I don't have that many views anyways in my early video, so why not? So, you do this one, like where you're just bouncing. That's fine. I could actually see a strategic advantage to that, not just to piss people off. But to like, say I wanted to get up a ladder without being sniped as I'm climbing. There you go. I'm up the ladder. Works better with your grenade though if you're going for tall distances. But yeah, that's kind of a handy little perk. The force respawn. If you're in an awkward situation where you're just shooting your pistols and not even hitting anybody, just reset. So you're not in an just in an endless loop and wow, this round ended really quickly. But those are the strategies to that place. Hide in the tents, but there's a ton, ton, ton of strategies that I didn't even get to. If you want to see those, I'm not very good at them, but I will give them my best try. And uh, if you guys want to play with me, <laughs> If you guys would like to join me in a game, that's more professional. That's my username. I'm pretty lenient. I'm not like, I'll gun you down instantly. No, not D-Day. Not D-Day. Not D-Day. Actually, I'm on the Axis side, so I sh this would be a good demonstration on the strategies of the Axis. Um, won't have much time, though. But uh, let's see. Let's see how well this goes. As a, as a sniper, you'll want to stay over here. And these are the perks I usually use, Bouncing Bettys, Camouflage, and Recon. I always use Bouncing Bettys and Recon. Two purposes. The Bettys watch your six better than anything. I don't care if you have a partner or not. The Bettys are places... Basically, it's like watching your six social security camera. Okay, that's a wall shooter. <sighs> miss. Very far miss. Okay, miss a little more closer. There we go. Now, the spawn kill. Hold on, I need ammo. 
I run through bullets worse than a cheese grater. Runs through cheese. I will... I'm basically a bullet hose when it comes to sniping because I don't take the time to actually, like, aim. I just sort of shoot and gotta keep moving. That's the number one rule of sniping. You gotta keep moving. If you stand still, you're a dead man. I can't believe those pistol shots hit him. Oh. Wait a minute. Crap. What's that guy's face? That guy on the roof there. I'm not sure if he's on our team or not, but I'm gonna go check it out. See, here's another good strategy. Shadows. Oh, he's not on our team. He is not on our team. It's a good thing I checked. Oh, another thing. I get on PTRS users a lot because it's a... I play this game for the challenge and because it's historically kind of correct. In a way. Hear me out. In a way. Ha! Hacker. That's funny. Another reason why I do these videos is... Well, one, for entertainment. Two, for information informational stuff in three to prove that I'm not hacking I've had I've lost friends because they think I hack a little game like this which is pointless to be honest I mean come on level with me why would you hack a challenge game it's supposed to be challenging for you and fun you know it's supposed to help or oh, did that stick him dang I forgot where he is he's got camo on oh that got him oh Boom, shaka laka boom, shaka laka boom. Okay. Ooh, a bomb strike. Okay. Like I said, historically accurate. This is kind of what D Day was like. People will get spawn killed on the beach, except it wasn't called spawn kill. It was just called you got shot before you got in the battle. And a wall shooter. Another way to get rid of really annoying wall shooters is one RPG. Well, in this case, an M1 bazooka, or whichever Panzer Shrek you prefer. Two, you can rep if you got like a, a repetitive sniper fire, you can simply just shoot the wall and the bullets will go through. Aim for the head, it kills them in like two or three bullets. Their juggernaut wall shooter, that's the worst kind because those guys take forever to kill. One, they can survive, survive rockets and most artillery strikes. Now, if... That's the last resort I use for those kinds of guys. And to clear out leveling people, artillery strike. Though artill artilleries aren't very effective unless used to take out a lot of people. I try to resist against putting them at spawns because that's kind of cheap and cheesy. But that is also historically accurate. We didn't want them coming up. We didn't want the axes just pouring in on us like rain. So, we bombed them with cruisers. Cruiser shells at any rate. See, he's camping in that trench, and that's actually a better spot than the beachhead, because the, the trench gives you a little more cover fire, and you can't really wall shoot through a trench. That's kind of, like, solid. And double kill! Hallelujah! At any rate, that's the best way to take care of them. And if they're camping in those boats, get an RPG on them. Because the artillery won't work on the water. That's the number one thing. Won't work on water. What's in... Oh. Okay. If they're a fish where they're camping in the water like this, the best strategy, RPG, or a good grenade, or maybe even a bullet. Sometimes a bullet doesn't work because the water is bulletproof. But that's all the time I have for this episode, and I thank you for watching us as we campaign through this Long and dearly divide of Robloxia. And I will see see you recruits later. If you want to join my group, please submit and I will play you. I will play I will compete against you. And if you if you can kick my butt, you are automatically in. I don't care who you are, you're in. That is if you're not well, never mind. If even if you're not kicking my butt and you're still a good player, I will let you in. I'm pretty lenient, but uh, that's all the time I have for this episode and campaign. I will see you guys later.